Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do a video on some date night at home ideas. We're currently going through coronavirus quarantine, so it's not an option to go out anywhere and we've had to get creative. I think it's so important to, at least once a week, have a date and make some time for each other. So I thought I'd share my ideas with you guys. If you like this kind of content, please give it a like and subscribe and let's get started. First up is a formal dinner date. Treat this as if you're going out on a regular date. So do your hair, get dressed up, put on your heels, and then set the table nicely, you know, use a tablecloth and candles and your nice cutlery. Sit down together as though you were in a real restaurant. Just setting the atmosphere can really change it up. Next up is an outdoor movie. We actually did this a couple weeks ago and it's a lot easier than you might think. We do have a small projector and then we just used a white shower curtain as a screen and that worked perfectly. And then we got some fairy lights, set up some blankets and some pillows and got all cozy. And if you don't have a projector or a screen, just bring out your laptop or your TV if you can. It's not really about the screen, it's about the setting and just being outside under the stars and getting all cozy watching your favorite movie. Next up is a board game night. You probably have a ton of board games that never get used. Whenever we have a board game night, it's usually out of boredom because there's nothing else to do, but then when we get started, we're like, why do we do this all the time? It's so fun. And it does usually end in one of us throwing a board across the room out of anger because we get very competitive, but and still a fun date night. <laughs> Next up is a fondue night. We were given a fondue set as a wedding gift and we absolutely love using it. You can either do a cheese fondue like a main and dip things like bread, potatoes, vegetables into it or you can do a chocolate fondue and dip things in like strawberries and marshmallows. I don't want to make a fondue pun, but it is really fun. Next up is build a fort. Sometimes building a fort is a great way to escape the reality that you're at home. You know, cover an area with blankets and sheets, get all cozy inside with rugs and pillows, set up some fairy lights, and then whatever you do in your fort is going to be more fun, whether it's watch a movie, just have some snacks, play some games, and it's always more fun in a fort. Next up is the newlywed game. This is also called the Mr. and Mrs. Quiz and there's a ton of questionnaires online with um, a long list of questions that you answer about your partner. So things like what's his favorite meal, what's her worst habit, who's the best driver and you write down your answers and then see do they match up and it's hilarious and really interesting to see how much you actually know about each other. The next one is cook together. Try out a new recipe, try recreate your favorite meal from a restaurant, maybe attempt some sushi. My husband and I have been planning to try and recreate our wedding meal for a while now. I'm just struggling with finding the recipes online, but it's on our list. Um, but the best part of this is that you get to enjoy it afterwards. Next up is a picnic dinner. I absolutely love picnics. All the different types of food, getting comfy on a blanket. You can just recreate this in your living room. Spread out all the food, set yourself up beside a nice warm cozy fire, get some wine, all you need. Next up is a spa night. This is a great way to unwind and de-stress if you're having one of those days or weeks. Get into some robes, give yourselves facials, pedicures, that little bit of self-care that we all need every now and then. You can really make everything you need for a spa with what you already have at home. My favorite DIY facial is with honey, sugar, and olive oil. And dim the lights, play some relaxing music, and de-stress together. The next one is movie night. Sometimes the best dates are just getting into your cozy pajamas, getting some popcorn, and cuddling up together to watch your favorite movie, or Netflix. Um, our favorite movie to watch is The Godfather. It always sucks us in. Next up is a painting date. This is one that I haven't done yet but it's on my list because I absolutely love the idea of getting up a Bob Ross tutorial on YouTube and um, just following along with what he's doing and you and your partner can each do it you know your own painting, hide your canvases and at the end reveal them and see what the other one has done. Another take on this is that you could do portraits of each other and then reveal at the end. I think that would be so funny and maybe one to frame and keep forever, although you may not want to. <laughs> Next up is quiz each other. This is different from the newlywed game because this one you make it what you want. And um, you could each take around and quiz each other on things like what song lyric comes next or what movie is this quote from, whatever you're into. And after a few rounds, see who has the most points and who is the smartest. Next up is karaoke. Whenever my husband and I are in for a night with a bottle of wine, it usually ends in karaoke. Although it's mostly just me singing and him humoring me. And we don't have a karaoke machine or anything like that. We're not that bad, and but we just kind of find YouTube karaoke videos and sing along with those. Well, I sing along with those. 
um, but it's always just such a fun, silly night. And um, if you're interested, my top karaoke song is Hero by Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> Next up is cocktail night. I absolutely love making cocktails. Whenever my husband and I go away on holiday, we always have a new cocktail that's just for that holiday. So that then after that, whenever we drink it, it brings us back there. So it's always so much fun to have a night recreating all these cocktails and reminiscing um, and trying out new recipes. Cocktail nights are always fun. Next up is make s'mores. We have a fire pit and we absolutely love going out to toast marshmallows and make s'mores. Um, my sister, whenever she comes from the US to Ireland, she brings us some s'mores ingredients and um, which you can't get here, but when she doesn't, we just kind of improvise. Um, but that's always fun. If you don't have a fire pit, just inside in your fire. We used to not have a fire even, so we used to do it over candles, but um, that was never as successful. But um, yes, yeah, s'mores are always a fun date. Next up is put together a charcuterie board. This is probably my husband and my most common date night. We absolutely love charcuterie boards, and it's so much fun putting it together. So you just get some nice cheeses, some nice meats, breads, dips, vegetables and put it all together and then get some wine and work away and they taste so good. Next is takeout by candlelight. Skip the cooking and just order in your favorite takeout. Then light some candles, play some music and just enjoy your takeout in a different setting. The next one is play video games. My brother loves video games and he was trying to convince us to get a Switch so that we could play him online. So this inspired us to pull out the dusty old Wii and play Mario Kart which we haven't played in years and we had so much fun and we get really competitive and um, I'm always the winner though I play Wario and I always win <laughs> next up is Pictionary I know Pictionary is usually done in teams but it's also fun to just play as a couple I don't know if there's really a way that you can play it properly like rules where there's a winner and a loser but we just have loads of fun just drawing pictures and trying to get the other one to guess what they are and yeah Pictionary is a fun one next up is bake together another kitchen one you can either bake a cake or go for something a little bit more adventurous like a creme brulee this is a good one because you're practicing a skill and if you perfect it and make something amazing then you can show it off to your guests at your next dinner party or you can just eat it all yourselves which is probably what I do <laughs> The next one is card games. There are a lot of really good two-player card games out there. Our favorite card games are poker and rummy. Um, you can play those with two players, but they're usually better with a larger group. But then there's games like Spit or Speed, which are perfect for only two players. Next one is create a bucket list. I love this one because it's so motivating to put goals to paper. You know, places you wanna go or things you wanna experience or whatever you wanna change in your life and it gives you more purpose moving forward that these are things you want to accomplish and doing it as a couple is great because you can motivate each other and and try and get to these goals together next up is homemade pizza night who doesn't love pizza it's so fun and easy and you can do your own toppings and um, we're obsessed with pizza we don't have a pizza oven but um, we have these pizza stones so we can kind of create that in our own regular oven and um, we're not able to do it at the moment because we all know you know coronavirus stops stockpilers have taken all the toilet paper but they've also taken all the yeast I cannot find yeast anywhere so unfortunately our usual pizza date nights have not happened for a while but um, pizzas are always fun and you can also do pizza dessert you can have um, a chocolate pizza and put toppings on like marshmallows or cookie or whatever yeah that's always a fun one next up is an outdoor picnic once again I just feel like changing the setting can make so much difference so just bring your dinner or dessert or snacks or whatever it is outside, lay a blanket, play some music, get fairy lights and watch the stars. The next one is put together a photo album. I love this one and um, because it's so worthwhile because in the end you'll have this keepsake that you can have forever. Um, I love putting together photo albums but I never find the time so a date night where you both do it together would be so much fun because you can look at all these old photos, reminisce on old times and um, just have a lot of fun with it. You don't need to have physical photos. You can just um, make an online photo album with all your digital photos and then have a physical copy sent to you. So um, yeah, that, that's just one that will pay off in the end. You'll have this forever. The next one is competition night. You can have one of those really fun competition nights or challenge nights with games from uh, minute to win it. You know, that kind of thing like um, who can stack the cups the fastest or shoe toss or cookie face. You both put a cookie on your forehead and try and get it in your mouth without using your hands. Whoever does it first wins. These are just silly games that are just 
fun and will get you laughing and sometimes you need to have a silly night with your partner. Next up is DIY wine tasting. You can just set up your own DIY wine tasting night. You get six bottles of wine, three red, three white, and then cover the labels. And then you've got to taste them and say how you'd rate it, guess what the flavors are, um, what you give it out of 10, and try and guess which wine you think it is. You might be surprised by your answers, and it's a really great way to just sit back and enjoy a glass of wine. The next one is couples massages. I absolutely love getting massages, so what a great way to spend a date, giving each other massages. So get some nice oils, dim the lights, play some nice music, and just work through those muscles and that tension and um, what a nice thing to do for each other, give each other massages. Everyone likes getting massages. The next one is play music. My husband is a musician and he always has his guitar out and sometimes I really take it for granted so I love those date nights where I just sit back and listen to him play and um, give him requests and annoy him by singing along too loudly. Um, if you don't play any instruments, you can just listen to music and you know re-listen to your old favorite albums or take turns playing your favorite songs. Um, another one that we love is taking turns playing our guilty pleasures because they're always so cheesy and they always get a laugh. And um, so a night of music would be a fun date. And the last one is write each other love letters. I know this probably sounds like the cheesiest thing to do, but I think it's so important. You know, we get so caught up in our daily lives that we forget and um, to not take our partner for granted and to appreciate all the little things about them. So take some time, both of you just sit down, write a letter to each other, think of everything that you appreciate them for and all the little qualities that you love in them and then read it out to each other. You know, it's what all these day nights are really about, you know, staying connected and feeling that love for each other and what better way than to just put pen to paper. So that's it, they are my top date night at home ideas. If you have any date nights at home that you like to do that I miss out on, please let me know, please comment below. I love hearing what other people get up to, give me some ideas. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe and thanks for watching, bye.